Hello people, my name is Rage and welcome and all to our afterbirth feed and streak and I I feel like at this point I I've become one with the streak. I've I've entered the streak's soul and fused with its very being and oh well, wow, that was quite an instant boss. That's not bad. Instant boss, just add water. It's a mystery which one you'll get, but we can assure Show you one thing, you'll never get bored with our products! Though, admittedly, I feel like only people who have no idea what Isaac is would buy something like that. Like, you just purchase, like, a sachet of powder and it's just got, like, mystery marks, also known as a question mark. Though, how much better would it be if a question mark was, in fact, known as a mystery mark? That is much cooler pronounced. Pronun 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 My words, they failed me. I'll admit. I I will admit that they definitely did fail me there, but at the same time, alright, you know what I'm trying to say? How much better would a question mark be if they were known as mystery marks? It's just it's just so much more fun. You just care so much more about English. Like exclamation mark is a pretty good name, because exclamation! Like I oh, oh, sorry, they're already down. They're already down. <laughs> it's fun. Like, exclamation isn't bad. Standing xenomorphs laugh snarkily many... Tick, 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 tick. Congregate. Look, alright, the K may not have been good, but the idea of a xenomorph laughing by going... Tick, 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 is something that really does tickle my fancy, so I'm okay with that. I really, really am. This room, I mean, I'd like to have a bomb and get that tinted rock, but I, I just don't see it happening. Careful, flaming jumpers, careful. How do they even have spatial awareness? That's the thing. I can only assume that their biology works on sensing heat in nearby creatures and then generally leaping towards it. That would kind of make sense. It really would. But imagine if an exclamation mark was a called a whoa! Line instead of an exclamation mark. That would be that would be exclamation point or exclamation mark. That's a good point. It's an exclamation point, right? Isn't it? I oh god, no, my English is once again failing me. But either way, what if it was a whoa line? Like that would be so good. Like imagine your teacher, like when you were younger in whatever age. I don't know. I don't remember what I did yesterday. Seriously, I don't. It's a really big problem. But you're like, no, this is a sentence where you need to use a whoa line. Like how can you even and say it without the emphasis. I mean, it's called a woe line. You just have to. Oh, God, this is uh, potentially a problem, but I think I have dealt with it. Yes, we are good. All right. Uh, and we should get... No, nope, never mind. I was looking forward for a free key, but we didn't get one. We just didn't. And a full stop should be an absolute end. You know, that's just so much more epic. More things need to be action movie voiced. And uh, and we can all enjoy them. I'm going to buy a bomb so we can go get our tinted rock. Because small rock or spirit hearts both are very much needed in this sitch. Our spiky head, Eden friend, are not doing the best ever, I'll be honest with you. Lovely. Over doubling our health is a very good investment for... Uh, every time this room is heart attack city. Which, admittedly, doesn't have a very high population. Because, like, everyone's just having a heart attack. Even the people try to repair the heart attacks. The doctors are having heart attacks while fixing their heart attacking patients. Though, I guess, actually, if it was an entire city built around people who were having heart attacks, they'd all be used to having them, and therefore it wouldn't actually be affecting them. So you'd have an entire population of people who are permanently having heart attacks that aren't affecting them. That would be a curious phenomenon. It really would. Phenomenon. Da, do, 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 do. Kill the worm. Da, 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 do. All right. Oh, come on. After all that, after all that time, attempting to find a bloody good item 
and we don't even get to take one with us. I mean, it's just sad at this point. I was thinking we may as well do this, right? Yeah, that's not bad. Load of keys, load of money. That's okay, because we don't really need to be able to fly on the boss. I highly doubt we're going to have a difficult boss. Like, come on now. And yes, Larry Jr., that is a-okay with me. Though it's still going to take some killing, because we started with pathetically low damage and pathetically low tears. In fact, I would describe Eden in his current situation pathetic. So yeah, actually becoming one with the streak would be quite interesting because does that mean I'm becoming one with the number itself or I'm becoming one with Eden because waking up actually being a 41 like somehow I am a living fleshy form of 41 would be quite terrifying actually you know what else is quite terrifying the prospect of dying on this boss fight which I think definitely could happen just because it's taking me so bloody long to kill each of these Larry's because my damage is just so absolutely pathetic and sometimes Sometimes they just do really random things that I don't expect because normally like look at that Why did he just randomly turn around there? That doesn't make any sense, but he did it and there's uh, nothing I can do again Stop it, you know, I'm just I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out I don't want to lose my Eden streak to a bloody Larry jr. Party. All right, that's such a lame party All right, at least one of them's dead. All right, at least two of them's dead. That actually worked out quite nicely Okay, that was that was scary. You know what is actually really scary if I'd not got that tinted rock We really would be dead it. Granted, I would have had to play a lot more focused, but at the same time, I am genuinely scared for what could have happened there. I, 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 magic mushroom, please. Like, make, make my day. Make my day. Oh, come on. I mean, it's better than some of the crap we could have got. And we do look adorable now, which is always nice, but, ugh, you know? Ugh. I feel like I should go every time every time my fragile self i should go get this battery and the thing is i could use the moon anywhere i could use it now to get the secret room i could use it on the next floor so i'd rather save it for a oh my god this room is going to kill me i need to leave teleport than just a random will grab a bonus room you know that seems like a superior idea but that first floor took us way too god damn long but it's okay because we're gonna get a bomb and then a small rock? No, nope. all right, that's fine. Although actually, even if we had got a bomb there, we couldn't have got to it. So I think it actually would have been a little bit. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> That was, what was that room? I, I just have nothing. I have one damage. It's just, it's just terrible. It's just so terrible. I, what do you want? What do you want? Okay, at least this room is something we can kill without taking damage. So we got that going for us. And then we have a shop, which may actually have something worth having in. This is just ridiculous. Like, I am struggling to kill one of the squishiest enemies in the entire entire game. Literally, they are just squishy. They're just goo inside. They're just wormy, soupy goo. And I'm struggling to make it leave their body profusely. It's just... Just so wrong. Oh, it's not a shop. It's a double key room. Granted, I'm still going to go in it because really, how much worse could it be? And we do have three keys, so let's do this thing. Yes, no, kind of, sort of. Yeah, all right. That's okay. Getting those uh, five bombs is very good. Don't be suck. Yes, don't be suck. Do not be suck, okay? Don't do it. Do not be suck. Don't be suck. What's the best language for don't be suck? I mean, there's a few options. There definitely is. All right. I want to go for my zombie friends again. Let's go for my zombie friends. And this time, I've got a present for them. Yes, poison death. <laughs> the best kind of poison death. Uh, well, to be fair, there's only really one kind of poison death. It just varies in intensity, honestly. So, item room? Oh, this entire time. And it was for just a sin that is that is following me really quite too much. And there's not really anywhere to go. Yes, you stay over there. Get bombed by your own bomb repeatedly. Careful. That was a little bit risque, I know, but I got there in the end. That's the important thing. Nope, get away from me. Hey! Oh, wait, no, we've already been in that one. Still, I was excited, and that's the important thing. Two extra bombs is nice, but it does suck that that entire set of rooms was completely elephant. Okay, uh, let's uh, move on. Just give me, just give me the goods. Just give me the goods. Give me the goods, you know. Just give me the goods. Give me the goods. Uh, and that is what we need. Careful. Splat there. That's <laughs> all right. Let's do this thing. 
<sighs> I don't know why I'm like, let's do this thing! Like, we haven't been currently doing this thing for, you know, the last nine minutes or so on the entirety of this run. You know, it's not like we've just been stood in the first room not having gone anywhere while I've spent the entire time hyping myself up. Oh, God. This is just tragic. This is absolutely just it's tragic it's so tragic this this run is awful this is so awful am i going to die am i going to die like all i can assume is that i'm going to die i mean i'm i'm going to get a devil deal and that's great but at the same time with this amount of health it's not really like i can claim much from it this should be a couple hits away from death so that's fine but i i am so severely concerned cuz i don't even have the bombs to bomb everything to death and the thing is that's not even viable on the later floors so if we don't get a serious power ramp soon and i mean one hell of a power ramp like at least a 200 percent speed boost ramp so that you can get mad air and therefore some mad tricks i think we are deeply in trouble small rock small rock please no give me some damage just just something i am not tickling dingle dangles to death they're laughing at me they're constant smiling faces they know what they're doing the thing is i'm lucky to have the freaking bible because otherwise we're just not killing mother on this run that's that's a sad realization isn't it that you the only reason you've even got a chance right now is because you have the cheap get out of jail free card item that normally is terrible that is that is so sad all right, Monstro, at least we've got quite a easy boss to kill, so we'll just bomb him whenever he decides that he needs to jump across the room to get to me, which he's actually very much decided he doesn't want to do at any point. Nope, there we go, he did it. I'm proud of him. And I keep doing that. I'm kind of just ignoring him completely. Stop ignoring me and killing my friend, man! We're trying to have a fight over here, and oh my gosh, you killed all of them! Though, why have they got loads of flies inside them? Yeah, I know. Turns out you didn't know them as well as you thought you did. This entire time, they were secretly fly hives trying to pass off as humans. Can you ever forgive them? That's a good point, actually. Would you forgive your best friend if they revealed to you that they were secretly a swarm of fr flies in human form? Like, they still had the same personality and opinions. They still liked you. It wasn't fake, you know. They weren't pretending or anything. But they just happened to be a swarm of flies in human form. Like, like what, would you be, what would your reaction be? Would you be like, oh, get out! No, how could you? Or would you be like, uh, uh, okay, I guess. Just don't show me the flies. Or would you go the full, prove it? I want to see this swarm of flies, and then if they did, would you be, like, really super freaked out? That's the real question. Squeezy! Oh my god, some actual DPS increase! Well, okay! All right, then! That's how you turn it around right there! Yeah, ow. Ow, stop. Just stop, okay? That is how you do it. Tears up, damage up, jobs are good, and on we go. Get some pudding. The best kinds of pudding are every kind of pudding, honestly. Though, I think that actually is a sign of age. I think as... Whoa. Really? No trinket? Isn't... I thought it was like a guaranteed drop. Am I going crazy here? That seems ridiculous. All right, that was definitely worth it. We don't even lose any health and gain a lot of good stuff there. But yeah, I think it's a sign, maybe not completely, because don't get me wrong, I'm still a big fan of uh, sweet-based stuff, but I think as you get older, you do get a certain appreciation for the starter and main course of any given meal. I mean, I'd say it probably shifts to the point where you like them equally, whereas, you know, the, the general gist of someone who's young, I guess, is that, yes, dessert, and by young, I mean like years ago, when you were like 11 or something and it was like what mattered to you like my little brother currently but i think that's kind of an interesting thing that how everything shifts and i do like the paradigm that a lot of the things where you were like Shh, parents no way what you say is true i'll never be like your boring self and then you know you get to a point in your life where you realize oh my god oh my god it happened no way <laughs> One day I'm going to have to tell my own children they'll end up like my boring self. 
And they won't believe me and the cycle continues. And it's not even a unicycle. Uh, you just got to deal with that. I think the blank card, now that we've actually got some actual power and ability to kill someone, is a much better decision. Does mu Okay, how does Mum's knife exactly work? Because I get it in principle, you know? It ticks really fast and it kills stuff, but... I have tiny amounts of damage, and I thought Mum's Knife is just your damage really, really fast applying constantly. But it seems from this that it's not your damage, that Mum's Knife is just a damage up by itself. I'm not entirely sure. Or is it just because it's ticking so fast that even with a tiny amount of damage like I have, it's still ridiculous? I'm really not inherently sure, but what I am sure is that we're going to murder ourselves a dark one. Yes, we are. I mean, slowly, not not like instantly murder, because I don't quite have the power for an instant murder. Instant murder. Okay, talking of instant murder, which admittedly is not something that should ever come out as a sentence, but talking of instant murder, I had one hell of a weird dream last night, and that is to say I did dream that I accidentally killed someone. Now, before you go, what? That just means you're a psychopath. It was quite convoluted, actually. It was very convoluted. So I dreamt that I accidentally murdered this person. For some reason, I was working with them in a secret laboratory in a warehouse. Ah, the mulligan's not horrible. I mean, at the very least, it easily wins the award for least terrible item we found so far, which is, you know, pretty nice. So I was working up this lab station with this random person, and I don't know what happened. Like, the dream skipped forward a little bit and uh, then they were dead and I just have this feeling of oh my god I killed them and uh, so that happened and then I remember hiding the body somehow because that's what you do and uh, this is going somewhere and then my cousin randomly showed up and was like did you accidentally kill someone again and I was like no okay yeah I did and then he was really disappointed with me <laughs> was a really big underreaction, like, go, what are you like, what do I keep telling you, stop murdering people, <laughs> so, he's like, I don't know, I might tell the police, and I'm like, I don't want to tell, please don't tell the police, I don't want to be bored, yep, my reason for not wanting to go to jail and pay for my horrific crime was because I don't want to be bored, so, <laughs> that's the internet for you, so then he took me outside to this council of five that were all these wizened old men because they were just casually chilling outside the warehouse next to a truck. And then I had to explain how it happened and how it wasn't my fault because it definitely was an accident. I remember that much from the dream. So <laughs> I don't know. So I had to explain what went down and they were like, okay, let's go find the body and see if the injuries match your story because that apparently matters. These, I think, I think one of them had a staff. So maybe I think Gandalf was actually my judge, so that's kind of cool. So then we went back towards the warehouse to find that the person that I thought was dead was actually just stood there going, where have you been? And then we, we when we were like, wait, didn't I kill you? He was like, no, I was just joking. And then we're like, S -s -s seriously, dude? So, really? That, that happened? Okay. So yeah, I dreamt that I killed someone, but it turns out they didn't actually get killed by me. They just pretended to get killed by me because hashtag just a prank, bro. That was... That was the, uh, that was my dream last night. <laughs> Which I admit is, you know, probably a, a weird dream as far as dreams go. I, I accept that. I do. So, basically... Yeah, <laughs> it's just not much else to say, is there? Please, item room, be good! D100. Oh, oh, I can't. I can't risk losing the knife, can I? That just seems like a really, really bad idea to, to invest in. Okay, let's just keep stabbing you and just keep stabbing. Such an easy boss to kill with. How am I not getting another devil deal? This is absurd. Ah, I kind of want to roll the D100, but is it worth the risk? Is it really worth the risk? Ah, screw it. I can't resist. What if it happens to be amazing? Oh, God. Oh, that's awful. That's absolutely awful. I, I regret my decision 
so much. I mean, we have bloody lost the infestation, which is nice, but let's try again, shall we? Ooh! This is interesting. So, pyromaniac, fruitcake, and a okay amount of tears. Damage-wise, we're at the same amount, and uh, roid rage. That's okay. It's not great. I think we can do better. We got the kidney stone, too. Well, we'll see what happens on the next floor. At least the good thing about D100 is that once you start using it, you are committed. So you have every excuse just to keep pressing it and hoping for something a little bit better. I do think this is definitely what I would consider weaker than what we had before, but you never know. Poop bombs, do I want poop bombs? Do I want to reroll poop bombs? No, I like poop bombs. And at the end of the day, it's just another random. Did I did I walk over the spikes? I I walked over the spikes, didn't I? That's what that's what happened there. I'm I'm so sorry, world. And we do have bum friends. Because the thing is, the good the good thing about this, or I guess the bad thing, depending on how you look at it, is that we don't actually have anything that we desperately want to keep as an item. Like, there's no one thing here that's like, oh no, I don't want to get rid of that. So we can definitely confidently re-roll at least once more. And please let you do How? Come on! Well, at least Revenge Fly is going to go instantly murder it, so that's nice of it. Ooh, uh, obviously we have ourselves the Lucky Hat and Prize Bombs. Ooh, now this is certainly interesting. Careful. How oh, is it not dead? There we go. Yeah, that's great. Passage. We'll see if we get a trap door. We don't. Daggers. May as well give that a pop. And Birkenau may as well grab those companions and then we'll keep the error for the inevitable chest. Alrighty, so we're at least going to have 2d100 rerolls on this floor, so potentially that's great, right? Boom! Oh my god, we have soy milk and technology and freaking magnets. I am not sure how I feel about this one, if I'm completely honest with you. Let's see how it handles a boss. It's interesting, to say the least. Definitely inter- Oh my god, we have homing as well. Oh, do I keep a homing soy milk tech one? I just feel like it's so bad. Like, it's so good, but at the- what just happened there? That did you see that? Like it just absolutely melted for a second. Why did it just suddenly melt for a second? I'm not sure. Like what what caused the damage to suddenly ramp up that high? I'm so confused right now. Why did the damage suddenly get ridiculous? Cause look, this is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. Like we need to re-roll again. This is this is just insane. But I I must have missed something, right? Cause that looked very No, don't blow me out the room! Okay, alright. Uh we may as well use the sun because we're gonna keep Yera. And then we'll re-roll the devil item. Yeah, I think. I mean, as good as this is, it's not great, is it? Oh god, this one's awful, I can tell. Yep. I can definitely tell that is, oh, that is tragic. That is, why am I getting so unlucky? I mean, we have Judas's shadow, but that's not exactly great when you think about it. It's really, really not. What's in here? Oh my god, more greed and just look at our pathetic damage output. This is so awful. Why did I have to be so greedy? Why? Why can I not just accept the freaking knife run? Why did I have to think that there could be better? Why did I have to think that maybe I could improve? I just don't know what I was thinking. And now we're all gonna die. Now we're all gonna die. Just the worst. What I do like is that someone mentioned in response to my having the curses in real life discussion is uh, if you get Curse of the Blind, you actually have no idea what food you're eating. So that's going to make for some really terrible meals, isn't it? You know what? I'm just going to grab this and re-roll because what we have right now is abysmal. Ooh, ooh, we have damage in Tech X. That's not bad, right? 
and we have Evil Eye, which isn't great, but this one seems like a fairly solid reroll. And we got we got Daddy's Love, which is always good. I guess we'll see what happens with the item rooms and potential devil deals on this floor, because this is definitely, it's not the most interesting one that we've had, but it's definitely the best one that we've had in a while. So we got that going for us, but at this point, I just don't even know. I just don't even rightly know. Oh, do we have knockback tears? I feel like we do based on, uh, well, the amount of knockback that we have. Because it's definitely not magnetism, because we've already had that once. So, uh, knockback rings of laser death? I just, I love this, by the way. <laughs> it's musical statues. Da -da 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 -da. Da 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 Oh, come on, Daddy's love. Don't you just hate it when you try to have a party with your friends and you're playing a totally fun and kooky game of musical statues and then your father just smashes all your friends to death with his foot and it does the most awkward thing. It's just really just the worst. Yay, infinite bombs. Where the hell is the item room? I feel like I'm going in... Well, I am. I'm just going in circles on this floor. Hey, there we go. All right. If the item room should get re-rolled, then we'll go for it again. And we'll see. Ooh. Ooh. Hoo, 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 hoo. I am a fan of the crystal ball. I really, really am. Okay. I think, I think we need to accept this. I think we do. I think we need to accept this because... Uh, at this point, we we just, we don't want to push it. We really don't. We've had every single re-roll has been terrible so far. And I just, I just don't think we can afford to let it go even worse. Because we're going to get close to running out of items to re-roll into. And then we're going to get stuck with just the worst synergy in the world. And I just don't think I can quite handle that. Like, I don't think I have the emotional fortitude to deal with that happening to me. So, for now... We're just going to have to accept this. This ain't the best. I mean, I guess I'll do that, because why not? Because we just have the money. But what a waste of infinitesimal amounts of money. Wait, infinitesimal is actually a tiny amount, so that's completely wrong. I'm so sorry to you wordsmiths out there crafting your forged vocabulary and hot irons and glorious furnace work. Uh, I, I apologize profusely. I really do. Uh, see, I don't like the word profusely, because while I don't mind it as an actual word. All I can think about when someone says profusely is sweating profusely. And then it kind of makes me go, ah, you know, maybe it's just me. Could definitely could be just me, but that's the impression I get when uh, somebody says it. So it just, it just freaks me out. Hopefully we get a fantastic nothing. Absolutely nothing. Just, just literally, literally nothing. But that's okay, because we should get to the chest with this synergy, and then we get eight more items, and then that's pretty chill. And we also get to see the floor, which is also, right, moderately chill. So this is okay. This is really okay. And the thing is, Tech X does slaughter general room full of enemies. Like, even a low damage Tech X, as we're seeing, is quite the potent way to clear all of this. So this is fine. Can I have the secret room, please? Ooh, more bombs. Not that I really need them, because we are back to just completely normal bombs, but you never know. All right, that's not worth a single gold chest. Just keep firing between them, and goodbye. Come on. Oh, damn. Is it just me, or did that one move ridiculously fast? You know, I'm not I'm not bitter about that, but at the same time, seriously, like seriously, does this actually work with Tech Egg? Oh, come on! I really want a whooping circle of lasers. That'd be wonderful. In before this is a reroll. Okay, that's absolutely fine. I guess we should check what the tarot card is. You never know. Empress, not something we really need. However. Ooh, one makes you small. And a lemon party. Well, we don't need the lemon party, but we are so tiny and so adorable underneath this cyborg visor. It's just so cute. <laughs> okay, because the thing... Oh, we really do have some serious knockback on these. And we have... Uh, no, we don't even have... So the, the items that I'm seeing on the right aren't even accurate. Do we actually have Nordleaf? I can't tell. Oh, we do have Nordleaf, so that's cool. Not that we have anything to really take advantage of Nordleaf, but, you know, we have Nordleaf, so that's pretty 
potentially useful? I mean, at least with Nord Leaf, we effectively guarantee the victory, right? By my virtue of being able to forever cheese every single room. So that's technically a reassurance, but I also don't want to have to cheese every single room. Hey, Mr. Fred, how are you doing? Just gotta kill your babies on the wall first, and then we'll get to you. Though he does summon a different types of baby, so that makes me really wonder what the ones on the wall are even doing. God, I love being able to outrage Mr. Fred. It makes him such a joke of a boss fight. How are we not getting devil deals at this point? This is absolutely absurd. This is just absurd. We're not going to spend all of our health, so I may as well just have more health to re-pick up. But what? We've not had one in, like, three floors, and I'm certainly not taking red heart damage. This seems absolutely just very upsetting, actually. And I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to get over this. I really, really don't. Uh, Cricket's head? Not Cricket's head. And, in fact, nothing really that useful. Just because we don't really need anything at this point. So, it's not really anything against the room itself. Just, just more a point of fact. Okay, we can't even go in there, so I don't know why I tried. Though it could have been the other type of trap, so I suppose that is true. Ooh! Alright, we'll at least uh, give this guy enough money to make things happen. I kind of also want to go ham on... Ooh! I mean, actually, that's okay. Like, don't get me wrong. It is definitely on the okay side of things. Just a quick bit of puberty for Eden there. Just the issue, of course, is that we have the crystal ball, so it's not really a massively big boon here. And I suppose it gives us the liberty to take a better space bar item, but the fact that it comes with hearts and stuff means that it's going to take quite a lot for a better space bar item to come along. So I don't really know. Do I have the soul? I feel like I have the soul. Like, that looked like I had the soul there. Like, those tears got reflected, unless I'm just imagining it. The sun! That's also very pointless. The game is determined to give me all of the uh, map knowledge in the world, which normally I would heartily appreciate, but there's just a point where it's too much, you know? There just really is. And um, that should clear the room. Of course, the tactical damage there being uh, strong. At least we have more health than we know what to do with. That's the thing. And I would love uh, to jump in a pile of spirit hearts. Actually, how would a spirit heart feel? Because I kind of get the impression that they're kind of slimy almost. You know, like, like they've almost got liquid dripping off them, which which is kind of weird to think about now that I say it out loud. But that's kind of what well, that's the impression I get. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If I think a spirit heart is slimy, I am going to damn well tell you that a spirit heart is slimy and ain't nothing you can do about it. Hey, you guys, can I have the virus? Nope, that's fine. But we do get more puberty, which, you know, definitely a different kind of virus. Small rock, finally? Nope, still no small rock. At least we're still on maximum amounts of health, so that's good. And goodbye to you. All right, then, it lives. Let's do this thing. Careful. Oh, of course, it instantly fired. Just so sad. Wait, how come I got a shield? I definitely have red health. At least I hope I do. Otherwise, that is very much gone. Yeah, we do have the soul. That is awesome. Careful. <laughs> That's less awesome, definitely. And a boom. Finally, a freaking devil deal. With acceptable, I suppose, options. I'm not that bothered about the Satanic Bible, so we'll just leave it at that, and onwards we go! So this run did turn itself around fairly well, all things considered. Like, at the start, god damn, was this the potential of just terribleness, but no, we really, really managed to turn it around. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Like, we're going to get replacement keys. Like, look at this, we have Mum's, although we did have Mum's key, we don't have it anymore, so actually that was quite lucky. Uh, and, oh, finally an item, Cricket's Head, Fate's Reward. Still all right, I guess, but not amazing. Well, <laughs> look at our one tier. Oh, we have anti-grav. So our one tier just goes mental after sitting there for a little bit. That's, that's not bad. I got to miss one tier, man, now that I say that. Okay, anything? Oh, that was actually not the last wave. I really thought it was. I can't count to three. Confirmation, guys. Rage Gaming can't count to three. Ugh, <sighs> alright. 
Yes, we'll go in here because I totally had my tinted rock sense and my trap door sense. Oh, what is up? What is down, in fact, is the correct question here. Ooh, we do actually get a free item and it is Seraphim. I mean, that definitely could be worse. It's a nice little bit of damage, so that is a okay. And then I guess we'll cut through the secret room and that was so not worth it. I mean, it was basically the secret room or the sin and uh, neither are very likely to have something amazing in at this stage, so that's fine. Our damage is on four, which is fine when we are ticking this quickly, so really I can accept that. Ooh, we got ourselves Burkano, which not really as effective as Yera, but at least it's one we could just use and that we don't have to make a really difficult choice as to which one that we do keep. So that's fine. And I think I'm going to go into the curse room. Though I don't really have that much of guppyage, but there might be like a free pact in there or something, which is always worth having, of course. Goodbye to you. The tick at this point? Fuck it. Let's take the tick. I mean, you hardly ever, because it's just, it's not that good of a trinket, but I mean... We're on the cathedral and we've not found a better trinket all run. I think we can accept the tick as a lot. It just speeds up the bosses by 15%, so why not? Okay, war, not just any war, the champion of war, the leader of war. Do you think champion war has four non-champion wars that make up his warman of the apocalypse and each of the other? Horseman does as well, so it's just like a complete chain of uh, horsey death. I mean, I, I would quite like that. All right, look, come on, last chance. <laughs> uh, just why? Please, just, just why? What are you? Two of spades? Yay! Well, actually, that's not bad. We were kind of low on keys. I say kind of very, very carefully. All right, let's blast our way through Isaac. All right, I'm actually a lot more powerful than I thought I was. This is going fairly well. No invulnerability that time. So what is actually giving me invulnerability? I really have no fracking idea. Uh, not that it really matters. Oh, Celtic Cross. That's what's doing it, right? I'm I'm pretty sure. I mean, it makes sense, mainly because I never really know what Celtic Cross actually does, so I'm just going to assume it's that. Considering I have a fairly, I would say, large amount of hours in this game, I really don't know completely everything about it. But then again, it is because my memory is just absolutely abysmal more than anything else. To the chest we go! Oh, I'm happy. I was so scared for this run, but no, it it turned out quite okay. It really, really did. All right, so we know where our boss is. Let's double our chests and go for it. Sad bombs, not bad. All stats up, obviously good. In fact, what are our sad bombs gonna do? It's not tech. Oh no, it is. It's the lasers. Good. Isaac's heart. Nope. Tiny planet. Parasite and Chemical Peel, and also the GB Bug, but that's not that good. So, Split Shot, not really a big deal. Is Tiny Planet going to affect XX? I have no idea. No, it doesn't, so that's absolutely fine. Do I want to get the secret room? I feel like, I mean, what's going to be in there? Hardly anything that actually useful. So, I think what we should do now is just kill uh, Blue Baby as quickly and as efficiently as possible. I mean, I kind of want to come back as Judas's shadow just for the damage buff, but we'd have to lose 12 freaking hearts, which seems like just a massive failure if that was to happen. Oh, we don't need the rewind, that's for sure, and loads of champion chubs. Uh, and I do know that Chub technically is female, obviously, but you know, sometimes. I mean, it's a giant death worm monster. Does it really matter? Does Chub lives matter too? Because I'm just not sure at this point. I really really hoping after birth plus they add some of the final synergies that just don't synergize like like for example parasite and mum's knife like a Parasitic Mum's Knife that connects with an enemy should spiral off more knives, like if you have Monstro's Lung and Mum's Knife. That would be really, really badass. Okay, there we have it, and come on, any second now, you can do it, and goodbye, item, not item, health, not health. Well, that's okay, I guess it saves us a couple rooms. <laughs> And I suppose we'll also use the bombs, because why the hell not? It's actually quite a decent amount of damage coming from these bombs. Like, really, not too bad. First time I've taken red heart damage in, like, most of this run. Goodbye, blue baby. Goodbye. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah! Look at our bombs! It's both, like, a spiraling electric and the actual ring itself. 
That is, that's the wrong direction. That's completely the wrong direction. Like, at like, just what am I even doing at this point? But yeah, that is so freaking cool. What a nice way to combine those into tear bombs. Ah, oh, I'm happy. I like that. I really do. I want to have a proper look at it. Boom! Ah, oh, good times. All right, everyone. Like, if you've enjoyed this sound, subscribe for more. The Eden Street continues evermore. A good boy. <laughs>